back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this look that I'm wearing right now. It's something really dramatic. I mean, you guys know I love everything dramatic about this. Um, of course, you guys can change the lip color. I mean, you guys can go all completely nude. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more pinky, add a little bit of color to this. Just because I did want to do something colorful but dramatic. I'm absolutely in love with this palette, you guys. So this is the palette I am using today. It's the Anastasia Artist Palette. And they sent it to me, and when I opened it, I just immediately saw this color and said, you know what, I need to do a tutorial of this look. So this is what I did, and I love it, you guys. So I hope you guys do too. And if you guys want to know how to recreate this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So to start out with the eyes, I'm using Paint Chili Paint Pot by MAC and apply this all over my entire eyelid. So now we're going to grab our Anastasia Artist Palette and I'm going to go into the first shade called Dusty Rose and apply this on my crease. Now taking this color that I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I know I'm gonna, probably going to get it wrong but I'm just going to be applying this on my crease and then later on I'm going to go in with a pencil brush to apply this. And the reason I just want to do this is so I can map out my crease and then I'm going to go in there with a pencil brush. So like I said with a pencil brush now we're going to go ahead and blend it. We're just going to get a little bit of the color on here um, but not too crazy. You make you got to make sure that you tap off the excess. After you are done blending that out, now we're going to go into our lid color. So for my lid, I am going to be using a unicorn and I'm going to be applying this all over my entire lid. Oh, you guys, this color is so beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and try and perfect my crease more because obviously we did apply that so it kind of blends it out. So I kind of want to just, you know, make it more precise. And then you could go in with a blending brush if you want to blend out. Now to add a bright color to our inner corner, I'm going to be taking this yellow shade, sort of mustardy looking, it's not super yellow, but um, we're just going to pop that on. Oh, fuck. Now we're just going to go ahead and do a winged liner. I'm going to be using Inglot Gel Liner, this is the number 77, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. And then we're just going to go ahead and perfect it with our liquid black eyeliner. This is the NYC liquid eyeliner. Next, you want to go ahead and just coat your lashes with mascara and then apply your falsies. The ones I'm going to be using today are from Lena Lashes. These are in the style Tyra, which look really unique. I mean, they start really small and then they flare out really, really long. So I'm just going to go ahead and give these a try for today. Okay, you guys, just kidding. I'm going to be wearing these ones by Lena Lashes called Visera because the other ones, they just didn't work out. So I'm going with these. Next, I'm going to take Buttery and apply this as my brow highlight. And of course, don't forget to blend. Alright, we're going to leave off the eyes for right now and I'm going to go ahead and go straight into my face. I'm going to begin by priming it with the Makeup Forever Primer. This is the Smoothing Primer, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to be applying this with my hands. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I'm in the shade Poonja. Gotta shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. 
for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Weightless uh, Complete Coverage Concealer. I actually changed the shade to Medium Light Neutral. This is uh, two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. Now, using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation, I'm going to go ahead and set my whole entire face with this. And I forgot to mention that this is in the shade Medium Light Warm. So for our bottom lid, we're going to go ahead and start out with the color that we used in our crease. And we're going to be blending this with our pencil brush. Now since we're not going to be using our pencil brush anymore because we already blended this color in, we're going to go ahead and use that same brush and dip it into Unicorn. And you just want to go ahead and apply it right underneath um, the purple shades. Once you have done that, you just want to go ahead and apply a black eyeliner and mascara to your bottom lashes. Now to finish off the face, I'm going to be taking a bronzer. I'm not really going to contour. So this is the Sunny Bronzer by Too Faced. They actually sent me the whole collection, so I'm lucky enough to try them. I've never tried this one before. Um, it looks really pretty, so we're just going to go ahead and bronze up our face with this. And just a little bit underneath my nose with this same brush. So I'm going to be taking this Morphe palette and I'm going to take this shade from here and apply this on the apples of my cheek. This isn't looking too good, it kind of broke off right here, but this is Opal by Becca and I'm just going to be highlighting with this. And now you want to grab a stippling brush and then just blend everything out. lips I'm going to be using two colors these are obviously from Anastasia I love these liquid lipsticks this is lovely and also pure Hollywood I'm going to first apply lovely on my lips and then I'm going to pure, uh, apply pure Hollywood in the center of my lips so now with this we have completed this tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up you guys always always help me if you guys thumbs up the video don't forget that I will have a list of products down in the description box as well also on my blog. If you guys didn't know and they haven't been noticing in the description box, I already have a blog. And also don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette or what. I love the colors and the eyeshadow pigmentation is out of this world you guys I am I'm, I'm like amazed by it so let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials uh, of just this palette or any other palettes and I'll gladly do them because I love to go back to my series where I would just use one palette for a whole eye look so yeah and also don't forget to follow me on all my social media and with that my loves thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye mm -hmm.